The Supreme Court heard oral arguments this week in Murphy v. Missouri, a potential landmark case regarding the federal government, social media, and the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Missouri's Attorney General Eric Schmidt filed this suit after the Twitter files exposed a deep level of collusion between the federal government and big Silicon Valley media giants. Schmidt claimed that the government pressured social media companies to censor conservative views and criticisms of the Biden administration in a way that violated freedom of expression. Elon Musk bought Twitter out of concern for its previous leaders censoring. He said Twitter acting on its own to suppress speech isn't a First Amendment violation necessarily, but acting under orders from the government to suppress free speech with no judicial review is such a violation. Both liberal and conservative justices expressed skepticism this week about whether the government acted unlawfully, however. Justice Brett Kavanaugh, who was appointed by Donald Trump, said he wasn't sure what happened was coercion, saying it isn't uncommon for government officials to protest an upcoming news story. In other words, because social media companies willingly cooperated with the government to censor conservative views and criticisms of the Biden administration, the Supreme Court is unlikely to stop such activity. This means that the federal government will continue to use tech giants to censor what you watch and read, regardless of what the First Amendment says about free speech. Daniel chapter 8 verses 10 through 12 prophesies of a time in our modern age when truth will be cast down. And government collusion with social media companies is a big part of this end time trend.